Yes, I'm joined by Ben Rogoff, fund manager at Polar Capital Partners. Apple is their largest holding and Google the second. Welcome to the show. Thanks very much for coming in. So what are your expectations of the Apple event in San Francisco? You must be very excited. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you introduced people as tech geeks. My wife's convinced I'm one of those. So uh, I'm relatively excited, obviously. Uh, it's still not clear if it is going to be the ITV product or um, the, the television revamp. Um, yeah, I mean, there are some rumours out there. It could be a, an iPod refresh. Mm. It might be a smaller tablet. But I suspect that the, the rumours are probably right. They spoke without fire. And I suspect it will be a revamped version of the Apple TV product, which, which really didn't do that well. Mm. Um, so here, here comes potentially a lower priced version. Uh, I think what's very interesting, uh, as a shareholder, it's relatively incremental today, uh, the opportunity in connected devices. Um, but a little bit like Google in China, I think investors need to know that Apple is going to be still relevant in a less PC-centric world. And are you assured of that? I'm never assured of anything in this business, but, I, I, but my gut feeling is that this company, more than any other, understands the need to reinvent itself. It's been through the mill on, on, on a kind of a multi-year view. You know, ten years ago, people were worrying about its future, um, and that's clearly not the case today. So I think the company gets it. Um, mm -hmm. They've also got a lot to gain from this new uh, proliferation of devices. In, in the case of, say, Adele or Hewlett Packard that dominate the PC space, mm -hmm. um, all of these new ways of connecting to the Internet are net, net, net negatives. For Apple, actually, selling more smartphones, selling new connected TV, TV devices are all incremental opportunities because they still have a relatively modest share of the PC market. Yeah, I mean, Apple is trying to boost its TV presence, as we we're hearing there. Is that a good idea, in your opinion? Well, I think the TV in itself is a means to an end. And I think what, mm. what Apple is trying to do, what Google is trying to do, and I think, by the way, neither will succeed in this particular iteration. And the reason I believe that is that I think consumers are sick of owning more boxes in their, in their living rooms. I think the connected television, which, by the way, I think is a very real alternative to the PC on a five-year view as a way to access the Internet, um, will come when that functionality is integrated into the television set. To that end, Intel's acquisition recently of McAfee in the US, a software company, frankly, a very odd acquisition from where we're, where we're stood, um, tells you that the future is about hardwiring security into connected devices. So I think the, the starting block gun, if you like, the starting gun has been, been, been mm -hmm. sounded. But I do believe that, 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 that consumers will be reticent to access TV today. However, it's mm -hmm. critical for Apple and Google to make sure that their dominant market positions in the existing way of accessing the internet are protected if the world transitions to a different way of accessing the internet. So what you're saying is that PCs are effectively going to be displaced as the main vehicle for information and mobile phones are essentially the future? Yeah, I think the world of connected devices has, has clearly begun. I think the PC has a, um, it's funny we were having a conversation in the office earlier, you know, people, people <laughs> don't buy, people buy Apple, but, but very few people are now using, buying Apples to buy Mac desktops. Mm. You know, it's all about laptops, it's about iPads, it's about iPhones. The proliferation of these new devices is really shaking up the market shares of the incumbent companies. And I think that it's critical for Apple and Google to stay on the front foot with these offerings. The, 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 the TV content in itself, I believe, mm. to be a Trojan horse. And it really is about securing the place in the living room, which will be as relevant a place to be find, accessing the internet as the office is today or the laptop is today. Now, Apple, I think, is your largest holding. We're saying Google is a second. How does all this impact on your thinking as an investor? Well, I think we like both companies. I think the reality is, is that five years ago, they, they both those companies sat very squarely side by side in the anti PC, Intel, Microsoft world, and I think the reality is, is that as smartphones have got to 20% of the market uh, for phones, mm. as these new devices are proliferating, I think it's becoming clear that those companies, Apple and Google that is, are more in a cooperation, so that they will find themselves going head to head more. Uh, they used to have board members in common, yeah. for instance. Uh, exactly. I mean, will there come a point when everyone will want to use smartphones which use the, the Android system, and what is that going to mean for Apple? Will Apple suffer? Yeah, well, I think the Nexus launch was uh, the first sign that Google and Apple were going to go head to head. Smartphones are something that are critical. There's you know, hundreds of million unit market every year, uh, two billion in the field. So there are more smartphones out there potentially in time than there are PCs today. Apple and Google must go head to head. But for now, with smartphones at 20% of the market, I think mm. both companies can prosper. Right. So Apple is still effectively the, the more powerful brand is what you're saying? Yeah. I think it's a terrific brand. I think the reality for Apple is that, the, that there will be a point where it, it's, its continued traction with younger people and so on and so forth actually becomes the issue that it, the company has to face. In other words, mm. it's been a sort of a wonderful brand without products. And for the last five years, the company has delivered a wonderful slew of products that really sort of typify what's exciting about the new technology cycle that we're excited about. Okay. But longer term, right. my gut feeling is, is that the company will have to deal with the fact that when you see Apple everywhere, that they're by definition will be will become less cool in itself. 
It's interesting. And, and Ben, very briefly, um, I want to ask you about another development. Sony attempting to take Apple on in digital media by really relaunching its subscription service in music and video. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Will Sony see some success? Not, not sure. Not really my expert, uh, area of expertise. But what I would say is that the, the battlefield is there's a lot of competence on the battlefield today. Uh, my gut feeling is that TV as a medium, as a percentage of the, 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 the media that we uh, consume as people, is going to diminish. The, the issue here is about con controlling the conduit for uh, information. Uh, so from, from where I'm sat, the assets that Sony has to, to, to play with, media and content, uh, are interesting, but not nearly as interesting as the ones that Google and Apple have to play with. Ben Rogoff, fund manager at Polar Capital Partners, thanks so much.